you know, but it can be Final Fantasy 15 if you wanted it to be, you know. That game got announced 10 years ago, <laughs> literally. So it was e- E3 10 years ago. Jesus. No, I remember. <laughs> so do I. Fucking hell. Yeah. Everyone thought that 13 was going to be the greatest game in the world. Fuck. No. <laughs> Yeah, that makes me sad. Man. So, it's it is, it's heartbreaking, <laughs> but I, I'm actually really excited for 15. Um, it's hard, man. It, it's getting harder the more that I see it. You know, it's like when yes. it first got announced, I was yeah. hyped, so hyped. Mm-hmm. The longer mm-hmm. it goes, and the more I see it, I'm just the more it makes me nervous. I'm just looking at it like, yeah, that doesn't really look that good. <laughs> it's it's tough. Uh, the shitter it looks, the happier I've, I'm becoming. Honestly. <laughs> I, I want I want to be proven wrong with it, you know. I want it to come out and get fucking ten out of tens. I want it to say. I want people to be like, "Yo, the, it's optimized now, so it's it's a solid thirty FPS." Which there is there is articles coming out on Sifted no. about that. So, so fingers crossed. It's it'll come I good. I think it will come out and it will get. Mm, it might review okay, um, but I, I think what, it's an eight out of ten game probably, which is yeah. Good, I, you know. I, I mean, someone, somebody's going to give it a nine. Somebody, yeah. some Final Fantasy fanboy who gets to review the game for somebody will give it a nine. But anyway, I think like everybody's going to shit on it on the internet, and yeah. loads of people going to hate it. Loads of Final Fantasy fans are going to hate it, and it's going to be really silly and childish, and probably not play well. And I'm just going to love it every second just because <laughs> yeah. it's it it's just the goofiest light-hearted just i think like, people will like it i mean the people yeah. i think that are going to resonate with it the best is like any single kingdom hearts fan that you walk up to if you ask them and they're like 15 yeah. in a year's time they'll say yes loved it yeah yeah it's a great that's... game i reckon that's gonna happen because for one I... it was directed by tetsu and and it just plays like kingdom hearts it looks like kingdom hearts it's got the same fucking silliness as kingdom hearts but with minus the disney you know this is the this is this is the last time a so game a right. game that like comes across so uh, polarizing before it comes out like gets this kind of budget like yeah. there's, there's there's no there's no way this will ever be allowed to happen again in the games industry there's no fucking way honestly um, if fifteen if fifteen flops like to a point where it's not if it if it doesn't sell over two million units for example then square yeah. i guarantee square will never ever make a three d farm fancy again ever I, It'll I, all be I agree from now on. i i mean at least um you know it, it or at the very least, Final Fantasies will stop becoming like the next evolution, and it will start to regress a little. Like they'll they'll have a smaller budget, and the next one will just look like Dragon Quest Builders or something. <laughs> you know, like no, yeah, they'll just, you, honestly, they'll, they'll do spin off shit. I'm guessing. I don't know if they'll have a, a Final Fantasy 16. The first, no, just, the first thing they'll do, they'll go through all of yeah. the Final Fantasies and remake them all. That's the first thing they'll do. The second thing they'll yeah. do is what I want them to do is revert to like PlayStation One graphics of a Final Fantasy, same mechanics mm-hmm. like the turn-based mechanics, and just remake, uh, just like make Final Fantasy sixteen, seventeen, eighteen onwards in that style. Because Japan as developers are fucking great at doing that. You know, like the PS One era, like Japan yeah. can make games in that, oh, and they yeah. are fucking great at it. Yeah, but was, the second was the second you get time. to like the end of like the PS2 era or like to PS3, then they just fucking drop the ball. Like, sorry, this is too much for us. We can't handle this. Mm. Yeah, get that and, get that uh, low poly renaissance going. Fuck yeah, man! I would love that. <laughs> it's like if they brought it back. It's I would time. I would be happy with that. If we got Final Fantasy 16 and it was in the style of Final Fantasy 7, 8, or 9, I'd be happy. Like that'd be great. Hmm. Or, or maybe maybe but with maybe like high, high res textures. Maybe. maybe sixteen would just be a MMORPG. No, I, I guess joke, four, fourteen is doing all right. I, I don't really know. If, um, flopped. I really, I really don't know if Square would would do, would uh, would really publish something like that anymore. I just they're making money off it, man. 
They don't care. Literally, all Square care about is money. That's why we... And you probably don't see it as much, but in, in Japan, like if you open a gamer magazine over here, it's just fucking filled with Square Enix mobile games. And I mean filled. Yeah. Every yeah. single week, there is a new one coming out. Like it a is, new Farmancy mm -hmm. with like the tacked on fucking side title. And it's just like really... It is pretty depressing. Like even the Dengeki PlayStation, right? Or, or even right. Famitsu. Like it's fucking yeah. depressing opening those magazines. Like this, yeah. you just, you, you, you finish the magazine in seconds. You're like, flip, flip, flip. What the fuck is this? This, this yeah. is, this looks boring. And you just, this anime girl, anime girl, like upskirt shot, some fucking girls in maid outfits, uh, mobile game, mobile game, mobile game, something about square. And then the, the, you're at the end of the magazine. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. At it's, the same time really though, depressing. like the square publish more Western games now than, than they ever have done um i can kind of imagine them like what if there was a new studio that was in america and they they try and take a, a western approach to it just just because like if that's if like what you're saying is they they went down like i don't, I don't know why they would stick to consoles because they they know that <sighs> they know what does well on what platform and i'm sure they know uh already very well like what to do on mobile and i'm just yeah. not sure like whether they'd see something really small and really niche that's not gonna sell that many copies obviously it depends how much it costs them but i'm just not sure whether they would do that versus like just saying well we so much of so many of the japanese games that still do well on console have started to pay a little bit more attention to what goes on in the west like maybe we just that was one last hurrah let's just try that you know yeah it's um, weird because like square have got a very uh, it's, it's kind of hard to explain but in japan square enix like develop a lot of games over here you know like division mm. one square enix are working on final Fantasy. division two are working on like all the spin-off games and like all the remasters on consoles and division three are working on all the mobile games and there's like separate teams within them so square are developing quite a lot of games in japan but they're more of a publisher outside of Japan. So, like, uh, the mm -hmm. old IDOS guys are obviously under Square Enix now, and I think they put out another studio or something. But, like, yeah. they only publish them games. Like, for the majority of it, they step away from that stuff. So, like, Tomb Raider and Hitman, they have pretty much fuck all to do with that other than the fact that they're publishing it. Right. Oh, Like, they just throw money at it. It's obvious. I mean, if you play them games, it's like, yeah, this is not Japanese in any shape or form. Mm -hmm. Oh, just, so just, just the way weird. that Tomb Raider oh. plays, you'd know, oh, yeah. like, right away. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what I'm saying is though, because they do publish those games, they can see they can see the money. That's all. That's what I mean. Like they they have oh, yeah. the numbers there to see like how that how well that does. You know. Yeah, you'd think that, but at the same time, it's just like there's a lot of Japanese companies that listen a bit too much to their home market. So Nintendo is the prime example. Like they'll just constantly focus in on their Japanese market and say, okay, what the Japanese people want is what we should be doing even though the 85% of their market that is made up of their company is actually Western. So they should actually yeah, be listening to sure. the 85%, not that 15 but they don't like a lot of the time. So Square Enix are like really hit and miss sometimes. Like their IDOS purchase was really surprising to me when they did that. It was, yeah. It's like, same. what? what? Fucking yeah. IDOS? Oh, man, they're going to ruin that game. But they didn't. They did a very clever thing and just stepped away from it and was said, this isn't our been, fucking yeah. thing. We don't know anything about this. Let them do it. We'll just publish it. It'll be great. And it was. And it was perfect. That's exactly what they should have done. DSX as well, you know. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, that IDOS pitch, I still don't quite understand it. It's weird. <laughs> I d I d yeah, I just don't understand. Yeah, well, fucking Japanese people. Are, it's, I just don't get it. it's crazy, though, that um, the games that I'm most excited for, are like, yeah, Square basically has nothing to do with them. Like squ the Square yeah. games, right? It's like, oh, yeah, new Tomb Raider, you know. Yeah, it's just... I'm more, I'm more excited to play Tomb Raider than I, th I am Final Fantasy fifteen at least at this point. Hopefully I'm wrong. Same, I think. Yeah, I think I, I'm in the same boat. I really which hope is I'm sad. wrong. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're I'm excited not, about 15, though. I, yeah, I'm, I love, yeah. yeah, I'm excited for it. Tomb to Raider's still no, awesome, though. Oh, I'm excited, yeah, I've, I'm excited I've been, for it. I'm just, I'm worried at this point. Yeah, yeah. I, th yeah. I mean, that, it's that, the reason why. I mean, Evan was over at my house, like he saw, like I've, I've got every single Final Fantasy game ever oh made. Oh, yeah, it is. You know? You, you should, and, like... I and I, I I wouldn't have known that 
and yeah, yeah, Vin just pulls out this massive, you know, you what do they call it? Like the CD files, right? Oh, like this a massive slip case. That, yeah, CD case it, thing. Sleeve. Sleeve. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. And it the thing it was like the Bible, and it just had like every fucking, <laughs> and 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 it had you. He put like the 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 um, not the pamphlets. What do they call it? The uh, Manuals. The, manuals, the, yeah. the manuals are like yeah, like the sleeves, like in in with with all the discs. Yeah, he, I think you might have collected oh, yeah. like every single disc based Final Fantasy game in there. Yeah, I did, and uh, like from awesome. that, like going from that to where I'm at right now, where I'm not excited about Final Fantasy 15 is is you know it's telling, you know, because I've just been burnt by Final Fantasy over the past ten years way too fucking much. I was sort <coughs> of uh, like with all with. Everything that happened with thirteen, like all the mobile games, all the fucking DMMO that came out in its horrific condition on the first time around, um, just everything, everything that they've done in the past ten years, Division One Final Fantasy has just been a fucking mess, an absolute mess. I just don't want to them anymore. Like yeah. I've just been I mean, burnt out too much by them. It's you could do a whole podcast on my weird history and views of Final Fantasy. Um, yeah, yeah, because I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy fan. But it still is something that means a lot to me, like as a gamer. Um, oh yeah, I mean you can't but, deny but, that. I mean, the, just the contributions that the series has done for our industry is it's it's endless. You know, it's like Metal Gear Solid. If you, even if you don't like it, you cannot deny that that game hasn't yeah had influence on it. You know, but I've only completed eight and ten. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we briefly talked about this right last time. Well, we might have done actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but I but, and I. I loved those two games. Um, I've given, I think, every single one a go. Um, I can never get into seven any anymore. Uh, I never have been able to because I just never experienced Seven's it at hard. the time. You know. Yeah, I mean, seven seven graphically is hard to get into. Like the only, I think eight is is all right to play. You can finish that one now. Uh, nine mean, is definitely playable. Yeah, I love the graphics, um, but it's just. I don't because it, I've no. It, there's no nostalgia there right. um, that's motivating me to go through it. Right. I just kind of it, um, it's there's just it's too dated. It's just hard. Now, right? It's just it's just hard for me to to sit and uh, there and read all of the text and stuff when sure, yeah. like which that's can which can take ages. Um, when I've <laughs> it's so funny like listening it. to someone say that. It's like shit. That's what I grew up with, man. Like I probably read more game text than I have books when I was a kid. But that's it, though. I did that for eight. You know what I mean? Like eight yeah. still had all that stuff, um, but I have nostalgia for it. But also, like I know, so like if I were to, re- I've not replayed eight in it in quite a while. But like if I were to replay it, I already know the story, so I'd feel comfortable skipping stuff. Sure. But like, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Playing seven, I'm like, no, no, I'm playing this game so I get to experience what everybody loves so much. So I have to read everything, right, and it just right. becomes a a time sink right. and. Well, you're getting lucky with that. I mean, you're getting the, the remake soon, so you'll look that way soon. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And uh, that, that, yeah. Final Fantasy XII as well, right? The remake. Yep. Yep. I can't yep. wait for yep. that game. I cannot wait for that game. That 12 was probably is the last awesome. good Final Fantasy. Last good Final Fantasy, by far. Yeah. I haven't I'd, played a good... I, I'd say so. Dude, what was the last good Square Enix game? Like, outside of their published Western stuff. Seriously. Mm-hmm. I don't know, yeah. Oh, that is such a horrible question. Why did I just ask myself that? It, it might be. Final I mean, Fantasy people, like, pe- people like people <laughs> like. That's four- really might- fucking depressing. People like fourteen, don't they? Well, fourteen's like an MMO. Like it, it's you have to be really into that genre. I mean, I've got fourteen. I've played it. I have played both versions, uh, one point and two point and two point is better, but it's just it's the same old MMO grind. You know, like uh, you're just leveling up to get more items, and why do you get more items to level up more? You know, it's that same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, it's tough, man. I don't. I don't actually think I've got a game that I've. Maybe the world's end was you. That's probably the last one. Uh, yeah, really I, n- I never played that one, but I've heard really good th- good things about great it. Great game, man. Absolutely great. Um, you can buy it on the iPhone, actually. Um, don't hmm. though, because it's like seventeen dollars. Right. Yeah, but it's a great game. It is a great game. That was the last good one I probably played. Kingdom Hearts two. Oh shit! That yeah, was... Kingdom mm, Hearts. That's got. That's got to be on it. Surely. That yeah. was ten years ago, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 I mean, that was like, ten years ago. Jesus. Um, uh, fourteen fans would be saying fourteen. No, like that's for sure, wouldn't they? Um, yeah. If you're into MMOs, then 
well, I am into MMOs and I couldn't get into that game, but... Uh, oh, man, really but sad. still... I can't believe it. Yeah, there's not been a great Square Enix game in a while. I think like some... Level 5 are doing better than Square at the minute. Some people really liked Lightning Re- Returns, which is beyond me. Oh, I, th- right. I think I think one up, one up. Uh, was it one up? It might have been one up or Games Radar. The two people in there, they gave it like five stars. They said they absolutely fucking loved it. Like you are out yeah, of your, no, you are that. out of your mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I played. I, mean, I respected the, but I can't. I can't get to it because thirteen yeah. was so fucking atrocious. Like Dude, I, just that sour taste in my mouth. Like no, I am not going to revisit that series. No. I um I beat thirteen and thirteen too, and then I played through the demo of Lightning Returns. I was like, no fucking way. Like I I I, I made it over halfway through that that trilogy, and there's no way I'm. I actually, I'll probably will play it at some point, but <laughs> Dude, yeah, I know that's the thing. Like, I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got the trilogy at hand. I can play it whenever there's I want. N- there's but... no fucking way. Oh I, no, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah I'll probably right. also, yeah. I, I feel like I have some morbid obligation to like see it through because I've, <laughs> I've beaten, I've beaten, I've beaten every Final Fantasy game minus the the MMO games. Even remember, I told oh, I beat whoa. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest for this for the Super Nintendo, but. I'd be got a medal for that. I didn't finish that one. <laughs> I should. I should get something. Yeah. But I've beaten them all, so I feel like I need to see it through. Yeah. Some weird I way. Mean, I don't know. I mean, you saw my collection, man. Like, it literally stops yeah. at Final Fantasy 13. It stops at Final Fantasy 13. After 13, I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. This is this is something different now. This isn't what it used to be, you know? It's just not Final Fantasy anymore. It's like this Square Enix fucking money pot that they've got going on and they, that's what they think they think if they slap the words final fantasy onto whatever game they make they make money off it and the sad thing is it probably does make money but i just can't i can't buy into that anymore it's diminishing returns in it with stuff like that though like yeah, there's gonna it's, be it's getting worse, gonna, worse man i just don't get it exactly yeah they'll reach a limit where they it, it just won't be financially viable to keep doing it you know no i mean i, I honestly think that Square have just been riding the wave of Final Fantasy 7 and I don't mean 7's the greatest game I just think that made them the most money and they've just been living yeah. off that sort of thing where mm-hmm. like when 7 was finished they actually made Final Fantasy 8 and Final Fantasy 9 at the exact same time by two different studios like a lot of people don't know that um, uh, Final Fantasy 9 was made by the Hawaii studio and Final Fantasy 8 was made by the Division 1 mm-hmm. so all that money from 7 went straight into them two games and then all the money from them two games went into 10 and then after ten, it all just fucking it just started nosediving after that. Well, because, ten, like, they, you, you can just see the money in the in the polygons. Yeah, you can see I mean, the at, money. <laughs> at the time, at the time, Final Fantasy Ten was like for an RPG that looked that good. It was just like fuck it. This this is in, this is incredible. I loved and it. At the, like, came out. at the time, I loved that game so much, and it, it looked those cutscenes were the best thing I, I had ever seen, and they remained the best. Thing I'd ever seen in CG I mean, yeah. for quite some years after that, you know. Yeah, but after after ten, like eleven was its own thing, and then twelve was probably the last like bit of money that came out of Final Fantasy Seven sort of thing. But then, obviously, yeah. after after ten and twelve, there was like halfway through twelve's development, um, Spirits Within came out, and then obviously that whole fucking shitstorm happened. Uh, Spirits Within came out, bankrupt them because of friggin' Aki's hair because of that simulator. I'm not even kidding. A hair simulation put Square <laughs> Enix, put Square Soft under. Uh, they had to merge with Enix, their rival. So then after that, they've got no competition whatsoever. So they can take as long as they want. And that was it. Like now they're fucking 10 years into development on Final Fantasy 15. It's, it's just like everything has just come off that initial wave of Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, you're right. Which that is really sounds, sad. You know? That sounds really good, yeah. I don't know. Do I know, mean, I, I want to see a good Final Fantasy again. That's the thing. I really do. I would love Final Fantasy 15 to be a 10 out of 10 game and for me to like play it and say, you know what? I was fucking wrong. These boys can still make good games. I would love that to happen. But I know of the, like, the last 10 years that they've been making games, I, I haven't got faith in that anymore. I just don't know if that's true, you know? It's hard. I think you should... Uh... You should publish the last hour of discussion as the reload matinee. We've, we've <laughs> yeah, got like, I feel like we've got some good podcasts. The Square Enix bitch already. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, just speaking yeah. of fucking podcasts, then we should have, <laughs> we should probably stop. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's. We'll do just this. record like the next three. You know. 
<laughs> yeah, fuck E3. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's just that's what I take away from this co- this conversation. Fuck E3. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yeah, so having said that, let's talk about E3 for an hour. <laughs>